The California Air Resources Board celebrated a milestone at the end of September. The 10,000th clean car rebate was awarded to Natasha Castile, a Placer County librarian from Meadow Vista. And this project is made possible by a, a law called AB 118, which was designed to support and spur the development of alternative and renewable fuels and advanced transportation technologies. ARB's rebate program has been instrumental in propelling the purchase of plug-in electric vehicles and zero emission vehicles, which help to achieve California's goals. This is a full range transportation program in which the ARB is working closely with our sister agency, the Energy Commission, to achieve the overall goals of reducing petroleum use, reducing greenhouse gases, and most of all, from our perspective, of course, cleaning up the air. ARB wants to get more and more of these great cars on the road. Currently, you can get up to a $2,500 rebate from the state and an additional $7,500 from the federal government as a tax credit, making them quite affordable. As the market grows, a simple case of supply and demand will continue to drive down the cost. And as the manufacturing of these plug-in and zero emission vehicles ramps up, more infrastructure will be needed to support them and their owners. The investment in that public infrastructure is really going to help consumers make the choice. For me, my commute is only about 45 minutes round trip from Meadow Vista to Roseville, so I can just conveniently go home drive into my driveway, plug it in, and it's ready the next morning. But if I'm driving around during the day to all my different libraries, I need to be able to plug in. And fortunately, Roseville has um, several um, free charge point stations set up so that I don't have the range anxiety. In Natasha's case, she purchased a plug-in electric car, the Nissan LEAF. These are obviously beautiful cars, but they have to be bought by consumers. And right now, we're seeing a tremendous uptick in interest, but it's really spurred along by the existence of the people who are willing to get out there and to uh, become the first adopters. In March of 2012, Governor Brown signed an executive order to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from cars and facilitate the rapid commercialization of zero emission vehicles, including the needed infrastructure to support one million zero emission vehicles by 2020. Governor Brown's committed to moving forward ambitiously but realistically on clean energy, on clean cars. They have environmental benefits, greenhouse gas benefits, energy independence benefits, and economic benefits. We are well on our way. What started out as 20 rebates per month has now grown to almost 1,000. And there's more to the story. Economic growth. A recent report from the California Electric Transportation Coalition shows that these clean vehicles can help create up to 100,000 jobs here in California by 2030. Through manufacturing, infrastructure, support services, and just putting more money in consumer pockets. If we're not putting as much money into buying fuel, um, if we've got free money uh, that is available to us because uh, we're charging our cars and they're much less expensive uh, to uh, drive and maintain on a day-to-day -day basis, we can plug that money back into the economy and it will lead to new jobs.